hey guys and welcome back or to my channel and today i have an exciting video so if you guys seen my previous videos you would know that i just came back from vacation by the time you're seeing this is probably a month ago but i did come back from visiting universal studios and islands of adventure in florida and it was so amazing i'm sure that you've seen the vlogs but today i have an exciting one because i'm going to be sharing everything that i bought while down there in Orlando, Florida. So if you guys enjoyed these kind of videos like Universal or Disney merch hauls, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, definitely subscribe so you can see more of this content. So let's jump right into it. So I did go to Universal and then I also went to Disney Springs while I was down there. But we're gonna start with Universal because that is the main place that I went there for. Now I didn't buy a lot of things while down there. I guess I just wasn't feeling what they had for myself, but I will say that my sisters did get a bunch of items. I wish I could share them, but they got like t-shirts and t-shirts for their partners as well as like some candy and I think keychains. I don't know, I could be wrong. But let's jump right into the universal stuff. So starting off with some food. Now this I pretty much ate and devoured, but I always buy these even at the Harry Potter store here. But I went to Honey Dukes, which is like the candy store um, in Wizarding World. And I got the Every Flavor Beans and it just looks like this. And as you can see, I ate most of the good ones. I left the gross ones, but basically these just have a bunch of flavors that are like nasty ones and then ones that are really good. And I know there's like games that you could play called Bean Boozled or something where you can guess what kind of flavor you're getting and then you have to eat it and spin the little wheel. Hard to explain, but I just got the regular jelly beans. I don't remember how much this was. I'm sure it's cheaper here but I ate most of them, so it was worth my money. Next from Honey Dukes, I decided to pick up this saltwater taffy little like box. Looks just like that. My sister also got one of these, and this, I also don't remember how much it was. Oh, it was $9. That's not too bad, because you get a lot in here. I already have one, it's so delicious. I had like a white one. I don't know what the flavor is. I don't think you can tell any of the flavors on here. But this was just like a cute box. Definitely love the theme of it. And I just decided to pick one up because I love my candy. So this was a great buy. And last but not least from Honey Dukes, I got some fudge. Now they have a wide variety of fudge and I didn't know that they had butterbeer fudge at Wizarding World until I saw someone's TikTok. And you know, I had to get some because I am a butterbeer kind of girl. Love the frozen, love the regular butterbeer. So I picked up some, my other sister took home two and I was supposed to give some of these to my other sister, but I forgot. So I have three of them. Two of them are the butterbeer flavors, which they're all wrapped up. And then one of them is peanut butter and it is really good. I prefer it when it's cold. So I had these in the fridge to make them hard. I do have to eat these soon because I don't know how long they're good for. I got these on Sunday, it's already Thursday. So I don't know, I didn't see like any expiration thing on there, but also don't mind the hawking, it's like school time, kids are getting out of school, crazy traffic. But yeah, I like these a lot and I'm going to try and finish them. I know it's a lot, they're pretty big pieces, but I think it was like buy four, get two free for $22. So I didn't think that was too bad. So yeah, we all just kind of split this up and it's really yummy. And last from Universal is actually a gift. And this is a gift for my best friend, Michelle, if you are watching this, please, I will put a time stamp of where you can skip to. So do not watch this portion of the video. But I wanted to share this, even though it is part of her birthday gift for when we see each other this upcoming July. She's coming up here to visit me. We just spend a lot of time together and we always buy each other um, belated like birthday gifts when we see each other or Christmas gifts, depending on when we do see each other. And this I actually found at the MCO airport in Orlando at the Universal store that was there before we got on our flight to come back home and it is just this adorable like little leather arm wristlet sort of bag with the Deathly Hallows like graphic design on it which I thought was cool I think that's what it's called I love Harry Potter but I don't know every little detail about it I just binged all the movies last Christmas by myself and you know i got as much information as i can i know the generic stuff but i'm thinking this is deathly hollows it represents like the cloak and stuff i don't know i could be completely wrong 
but if you know you know put it down below but i just thought this was really cute i know she knows a lot more than i do about harry potter but i just thought this was awesome it was 35 dollars, which i don't think was bad whenever it comes to like souvenirs and stuff i don't care how much it is because i know it's a souvenir it's supposed to have memory to it so i don't care how much it is but it just has like a zipper on the side and you just put stuff in there i'm trying to see if like my phone can fit in here i don't know if she has a bigger phone than me but i'm sure like you could probably squeeze it once i take the stuffing out but i don't know we'll have to see but you know this is more for like just a running errands kind of bag little small wristlet on the go i'm sure she'll probably use it here hopefully when she comes to visit me but it's just i just thought it was really cute i would have got one for myself but i have too many bags already so yeah i hope she enjoys this now moving on to the disney haul portion of this video i think i went a little bit more ham for myself here i enjoyed a lot of the stuff here versus my sisters they enjoyed more of the universal stuff they didn't really find anything in disney springs but i did because i've been like on a disney binge lately especially with my star wars you know how i've been the mandalorian and whatnot so first place i think this was at world of disney i actually saw it at like the universe the star wars store that was there but i'm so excited about this because it is a grogu like t-shirt i got it in a large and it's almost like a playoff of the disney spirit jerseys except it's short sleeve and it just has little din grogu on the front saying wanted and then on the back it says star wars and i'm actually filming this video on may the 4th so may the 4th be with you um you may have seen that in my other video my post vacay video because i'm filming this on the same day but i really like this a lot and i know it's gonna be nice with like biker shorts and it's really like thick material now you know disney can be pretty expensive as could universal but like i said i don't mind splurging when it comes to souvenirs and visiting places because you know you're on a trip somewhere that you may have been before but it's just you know you want to have memories of those trip so this is probably the most that i've spent on a top especially for a t-shirt from disney world which you probably can't wear that often but i'm going to get my money's worth out of this this was 79.99 now i'm sure disney shop disney will have a sale soon and this might be on there i don't know maybe it's not on there but i've grown to love the mandalorian and it has just been my feel-good show it made me really happy i can't wait for the new season already to come out whenever that is but just binging it it's just added a lot of happiness to my life and every time i think about it or think about like a little grogu it just brings a lot of like joy like sparks of joy for me so i couldn't pass this up i know i f i'll feel happy when wearing it and i'll get my use out of it so I could justify the price i know it's expensive but once again it's a souvenir for myself and i enjoyed it a lot next from world of disney i also wanted to get a pair of ears and there were so many there to pick from and i've seen some that i saw online at shop disney i was gonna go with like these bronze color ones i don't know which one that is for like what theme that's for but it had like a bow in the middle and i really want the bow and it would be dumb for me to buy it and then cut the bow off but i thought it was just really nice the bronze color maybe i'll buy it if it goes on sale on shop disney unless it's already on sale but i decided to just go with the classic mickey ears and these are just the black leather ones it just says mickey mouse on the side right there in the red which i think is just really nice and it just sits in your head like this my head is already big as is but i really like it a lot just simple you know for my first Mickey ears ever, I thought I'd go with this simple one. I've been fortunate to go to Disney World a lot when I was younger, but I don't think I ever got a pair of ears. So this is my first official pair of Mickey ears and I love it a lot. Very basic to begin out with. Maybe we'll get some more soon. And last at Disney Springs, I got this mug, which is just this beautiful mickey mouse graphic mug it's almost like a nice like latte sort of mug and i'm telling you right now this is going to be my go-to coffee mug specifically for like my afternoon coffee because you know i need a bigger cup than this for the morning <laughs> but this was 19.99 is really great material it's definitely porcelain 
and I was gonna go between this and then I think it was like the one with the castle for 2023 but it said 2023 on the other side which would have been fine because it was on a trip that I bought it so it could add that sentimental memory to it but I decided to go with Mickey if I feel like getting the other one I'll probably order it online if I find it or or if I find it somewhere else online but I'm fine with the Mickey can never go wrong with this it's very timeless and I just love this so much and can't wait to sip some coffee out of this and last but not least I went to Uniqlo and now you're wondering we have a Uniqlo everywhere but this I specifically went for because I've seen people do it in their videos and on TikTok and I had to get one myself and you can basically get printed images on a tote bag or a t-shirt at Uniqlo I don't know if it's just this one in Disney Springs or anywhere but for Disney Springs they have Disney inspired like stickers or prints they call it so I decided to get a tote bag and I went with this print it's just a classic Walt Disney Mickey Mouse print like these hippos I just love the black and the colors in this looks very retro and I got the large tote bag which I am so happy about it has a little pocket right here and it's really spacious you know like the regular um Uniqlo tote bags and I just love this print so much it's just giving me childhood vibes and memories and it just really matched the tote bag a lot I feel like the neutral colors kind of so this is going to be nice to sport in the summertime but that concludes my haul for Universal and Disney I didn't buy too much but I did spend quite a bit but I thought I would just talk about my Universal trip really quickly because I feel like my vlogs were kind of short I was just pretty much enjoying the moment and once again like Universal doesn't have too many things that like I feel like we got the rides done in one day so the first day we had the full day at the park we basically rode everything there so the other two days it was kind of like okay we could just go back on the ones that we liked a lot but it wasn't much more to it of course I still enjoyed it but it's not as big as like Disney World or somewhere like that but for the vlogs I didn't really film too much like the traveling to Orlando because it was just too hectic in the morning traveling back home and then not a lot of talking in the vlogs it was just like so much going on with the rain and thunderstorm but I had a great time nonetheless it was amazing a great birthday trip definitely enjoyed it my sisters enjoyed it as well we went on so many rides I will say my top five rides are Hagrid's Velocicoaster, Mummy Ride, Men in Black and there's one more I think I'll put on the screen here but if not then top four rides but I really enjoyed them so much the butterbeer everything was just so much fun and I couldn't be happier but I also decided to share that I'm not too sad that I'm not there anymore because the end of this year if you guys know from my monthly resets or some of my vlogs I did mention that I'm going on two vacations this year the first one was my universal trip and the second one we will be going back to Orlando Florida in September because I am going to Disney World yes I'm going to Disney World and I'm so excited that is why I brought some of that stuff from Disney Springs because I want to use it on my trip there we are going to be going for five days so flying in for two or flying in and out for two and then staying there for three full days we originally were going to do a week but I felt like it wasn't really needed um during that time so we just decided to do five days I will be going with my sister I know it's still kind of far out that's some months away so anything can change but for now we have already booked with a travel agent like our hotel tickets all that stuff and I think by like July we'll be doing some dining reservations with her so she's also been a great help I booked it through be my guest or be our guest vacations I think it's called I'll leave the info down below but I'm so excited for this this is definitely like the bigger trip of the year and couldn't be happier I am excited to go to all the parks we're gonna do Animal Kingdom Magic Kingdom Hollywood Studios Epcot which I'm so excited about because as a kid I hated Epcot my mom always would want to go traveling all over the country and stuff I'm like Ugh, I just want to go back to the pool but now as an adult I'm appreciating it more and I am hoping to get on that cosmic rewind ride and I'm gonna make it happen within those three days <laughs> so yeah that is my surprise trip announcement that I've been trying to hold in you know anything could change 
knock on wood that nothing does and hopefully everything goes smooth i've been saving for it so you'll be seeing some things over the next couple months about that but really excited so i will definitely be vlogging it all doing a whole prepare with me video again packing all of that stuff and i just cannot wait so i hope you guys enjoyed this haul and i hope you guys enjoyed me sharing the tea of my upcoming trip and i will see you guys in my next one bye